Indeed, Ali, we are having a lot of luck. Beautiful elephant sighting. And now this fish eagle has come down to actually drink at the dam. Have a look at that. Let's see if it dips its head in the water once more for us. Well, you don't often see them down in the water like this. Now, I was watching, um, we had a question the other day of if the fish eagles swim like other eagles do, and, and I was trying to find um, a little bit more information about this. Now, um, the one video I did see was of an osprey uh, that was in the water trying to get up. And just as I suspected, and, and what I think happened, is these birds don't choose to swim. It's not a case of them swimming. It's a case of them, um, what happened with the osprey is it f um, flew down, tried to catch a fish. The fish was too large for the osprey and actually pulled it down. And that osprey then landed in the water and couldn't get out again. So what they then have to do is they then have to try and get to the bank. So it appears as if they're swimming, but they're not choosing to swim. The problem is they've been pulled down, they've landed in the water, and they can't get out again. So they have to try use their wings to paddle almost out to the bank and then walk out of the water, dry those wings off a little bit, and then take off. They can't take off once they've landed in the water. It's very difficult for them to. I, I think I saw one video of a bird trying to take off out of the water, and I think it managed, but it's very difficult now. I'm, the same would happen with a fish eagle. If the fish eagle flew down, grabbed a fish, and was unable to lift it and f fell into the water, it would appear as if it was swimming, but it would probably try and paddle to a bank for safety. Um, so it's not a case of them choosing to swim. And it's wonderful to see the fish eagle down drinking. It's really special. Uh, Jennifer, you say beautiful bird. It is indeed. It really is. One of my favorite eagles. Oh, let's see. Where is he going? Look at those big talons. Wow. Oh, lovely. Uh, Vicky, you asked what is the wingspan of the eagle. Now, this eagle, the fish eagle, is not one of the largest um, eagles that we have. However, it has got a big, big wingspan. The wingspan of the fish eagle is just over 2 meters. I think it's about 2.2 meters for a fish eagle, which is very big. But it's got that big wingspan because it needs the additional length to create lift when it grabs fish out of the water so it can fly over and lift the fish up into a tree. Uh, now, there's another vehicle approaching, so I'm just going to have to reposition um, and so that they can get past me. Let me see if I can do that quickly. Hold on a second. I'm parked on the damn wall, um, so it's a bit of a tight squeeze here at the moment. on the damn wall edge. Fergs, if we go in, I'm jumping. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll get past us like that. That should be more than enough space. There we go. Fergs, is that okay? So we're just facing the sun a little bit. Uh, there we go. Oh, lovely sun on that bird. Dina, yes, that is a lovely reflection. It is a beautiful reflection. I'm quite upset I didn't bring my camera this Vicky, you asked what is the wingspan of the eagle. Now this eagle, the fish eagle, it's not one of the largest um, eagles that we have. However, it has predominantly fish. That they, that's mainly what they feed on. But I have seen them feeding on carcasses before. Oh, there's a little snort from the hippo. Hmm. 
John, I have absolutely no idea of the population of fish eagle in South Africa. Um, and I say that because there are plenty of fish eagle all over South Africa. Um, but I'm not sure of the exact number. I don't know. But there's, there's a very healthy population, let's put it that way. There's a lot of them around. And, um, and they do very, very well in the, in the various water habitats, or obviously close to water and rivers. And um, so, they, um, yeah, there's uh, definitely a healthy, healthy population of them.